All right, so in this video, we're going to set up a recurring WordPress event using WP cron, which basically means using this function right here, WP schedule event, which takes these three mandatory parameters. The rest are optional. Let's focus on these three for now. The first one is an integer, which is basically a timestamp. The second one is a time interval. As an example, we can go here and look at these right here, hourly, daily, weekly, etc. These are the default string representation of that recurrent string. So we can actually use one of those right here. But in our case, we're going to build a custom one. And the third one is a user generated hook for that scheduling, which means if you are setting up an event, this is something that you're going to declare. You can name it whatever you like. And just to show you that uh, only these top three are required. So at this point, these three we're going to focus on. And that being said, let's go to the back end and see what we're trying to accomplish with this. All right. As you can see here at the WordPress backend, every 10 seconds, I am inserting a new post. I'm just showing you so that this is something we're going to accomplish now. Let's go to the code and see how it's done. Okay, so we're back at the code level and this is my team name. This is my custom function folder. And this is our target file. And in here, I've already laid out a few comments as to the steps we're going to follow, not necessarily in that order. We're going to start right here. First, we're going to add the custom hook using add action. And this will take two parameters. First is our custom hook, and the second would be the attached function, which will actually define the scheduling event. And this one basically is this hook right here a user defined hook and once this is done and this is where the function will go which we will not write right away just create a shell here now we go here to create the actual schedule this is where we're going to use the wp schedule event function but before we do we need to bring in an item for best practices recommended by wordpress Basically, what this does is prevents duplication. Mainly, this will check for this hook previously being used or not. If it doesn't, only then this will implement our schedule using this WP schedule event. And as we saw before, first we need to provide an integer for time, which is the time, PHP time function. And next would be our string for time interval. And since we said that we're going to create a custom one, so we're going to leave this empty for now. And lastly, our cron hook. Okay, so our structure is almost ready. Now let's find out how to create this guy right here, the recurring event text. Let's go back to the document. In here, we saw before the WP default ones, uh, hourly, daily, weekly, etc but this is how we are going to create the custom event and our target is to do a 10 second one so let's grab this whole thing from here now in this area right here let's paste that and for our purposes let's just customize it a little bit And they're saying here that this is a five second one. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 seconds. And keep in mind, this is the string we're going to be using here. So let's do it here already. And the time interval needs to be changed from five to 10. 
and let's change the description accordingly and save it so as soon as this function runs we're going to have our 10 seconds interval ready which in turn will be used right here which will invoke this cron hook and this cron hook will invoke this function now it is time to write our function here as we mentioned before we're going to insert post every 10 seconds so let's keep it simple and fill this out okay so we got our function basically we're just keeping a very simple arguments which is a post title and since we already saw this one created before we're going to add a, an extra word here which is new this will show the difference between the old one and the new one basically this is what i mean right here they were created previously and this time when we first launch it we're gonna see that this new was added that way we know for sure that it is adding brand new posts and coming from this file and this is the function wp insert post using this argument it's gonna create the post so a quick recap first is gonna go check whether or not any other hook by that name exists or not then it will try to schedule the event using this time and this time interval now to get this time interval we started right here using this cron schedule hook and this function we're adding this text 10 seconds and the same string we are using here and by implementing this hook right here using add action followed by this function right here we will create one post every 10 seconds now that our file is ready let's save it now we have one more step left which is basically calling this from our function file so let's track down our function file which is right here and i already set up a space for it so let's fill it in require okay so we now have call that function in our functions file right here with this line let's save that and one thing to know about wp cron or event scheduling is that it never starts unless a page is reloaded which means now that we created that doesn't mean that it will automatically start creating new posts we have to do one refresh either on a front end or a back end to have this launched so now our stage is set let's go refresh and find out what's happening okay so we're back at the wordpress backend now our schedule is set and these as we've seen before was created previously and the new one will come in with a new word at the beginning of it right so now let's refresh hopefully it's 10 seconds already boom there you go it's actually more than 10 seconds and this actually shows that it is creating more and more at each 10 seconds interval let's do some more refresh and there you go every 10 seconds one more so now if we don't stop this it will keep doing this on and on forever and keep creating one post every 10 seconds so this well, this can be used as an example, but now we can think of other good valid purposes that we can use them for. That will be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.